What's up guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another episode of Brand New Console Mods. Today we have five new mods to look at, so no top five today for Fallout 4. We will continue again with top fives as we run out of brand new mods. Also, if you haven't already done so, check out my brand new console mods for Skyrim if you haven't already done that. Before we start, as always, if you find this video helpful, drop a comment, it's appreciated, and we can look at the first mod. Our first mod of the day is called Posters of Fallout 4. Decorate your settlement with all the posters of the game. This is the biggest version of the mod and includes all posters of the Commonwealth, posters of Far Harbor, and posters of Nuka World as well. Simply install this one and you can find them in your workshop menu, ready to place on all the walls in your settlement. The posters are sorted into different categories now for this mod. You get Patriotic, Nuka Cola, Vim, Propaganda, Vault Tech, Silver Shroud, General Adverts, Comic Covers, Workshop Safety, Random Stuff, and Faded and Damaged versions. Overall, an awesome poster mod, and the mod author plans to add more general custom posters and comic book posters to the mod over time, and it's definitely a mod worth trying out. Next up, we have a Resident Evil outfit pack, and this mod adds in loads of outfits from Resident Evil. The mod is split into two, and you install them both, you will get the following outfits. The Jill Valentine Army outfit, the Jill Valentine Army headgear and the Army headgear plus glasses, the Rebecca Chambers cowgirl outfit, the Rebecca leather outfit, the Rebecca prototype outfit, plus you get a prototype one with a beret, plus the Rebecca Chambers sport outfit. You get the Regina Dino Crisis outfit, the Chris Redfield rapper outfit and the rapper cap, plus you get the Chris Redfield Vendetta outfit, you get Sam Fisher Splinter Cell outfit and the Splinter Cell gear, plus you get the Kill King of Fighters outfit. For stats, all of the outfits are the same, they come with 100 to physical defense and 100 defense to energy weapons, and they have a 40 radiation resistance. Plus, they all come with a plus 2 to charisma. Our next mod is called the Equilibrium Weapons Balanced Fix mod. This mod alters nearly 50 weapons in game of all kinds, so swords, rifles, melee weapons, plus many more, all to be more balanced. Unfortunately, I cannot name them all and their changes, as it would take like a separate 50 minute video to go through all the stuff, but I will give you some examples and you can check out the rest if you decide to install it. So it makes alterations to specific weapons, like hunting rifles for example, and it would increase the base damage of them, and increases the bonus damage for 50 caliber receivers. For melee weapons in general, it has some modifications, especially adding blades to blunt weapons, which will give it a more pronounced effect. Also some modifications made more powerful at the cost of additional perk requirements. For instance, knuckles with long blades require blacksmith 3, but now they're a pretty deadly weapon, which makes them more viable later in the game. Another example are changes to scopes and suppressors. Scopes now have more consistent perk requirements. If you can mount a recon scope on a, on a pipe gun, then you should be able to mount it on a proper weapon as well. There are changes to modifications in general as well. Perk requirements are changed slightly for some modifications. For example, stocks for radium rifle require the third science rank, which makes it hard to use before science 3 and makes wooden stocks useless. Plus, why would you need a wooden stock? So the perk requirements for some of the mods have been altered to make more sense. The mod alters all aspects of weapons in the game and all kinds of weapons to be more balanced, and this is definitely a mod worth checking out, and there are tons more examples of changes that I couldn't list in the video, so you can look at them when you install the mod, but it's definitely worth trying out. Our next mod is the Deaf User Interface HUD, and the mod alters the HUD in the game. The majority of the user interface elements are in the vanilla position, but they've been moved closer to the edge of the screen. The consumable buff indicator is now above the AP bar, and the ammo count indicator is horizontal instead of vertical. The grenade indicator is now immediately above the ammo count, and finally the mod removes the background from the subtitles and flashlight indicators. So if you like the way that the new user interface looks, then you can try this one out for yourself. Our final mod is the Bedford Station Battle Train Settlement. Bedford Station has been claimed as a settlement for the faction of your choice, complete with a static apocalyptic armoured train ready to be customised. You can now build on the train and anywhere in the settlement. For the actual train though, you get the following cars that you can build on. A turret platform that's on the actual locomotive, so the front part of the train. Partial flat car just behind the locomotive which shares a space with the reactor for the locomotive, essentially it's just half of a tender. Full flat car and you can get 4 shack foundations on there. A vault tech box car which you can't go inside but looks cool. Vault tech passenger car which all the doors can open and you can replace them. And it has an interior space which you can build in so it's pretty awesome. Finally you have another flat car which can fit 4 shack foundations on that as well. The mod is still in alpha but so far it's really awesome and unique and is definitely worth trying out for yourself. Well guys that's it for today's mod video. I'll be back again tomorrow with another Fallout 4 mod. If you haven't already done so check out the brand new Skyrim mods that I released at the same time as this one. And if if you enjoyed subscribe for daily console mods and i will see all of you guys next time